Here we are today at a house that was built in 2010 by Dean Design, a local um, high-end builder in the area. Um, it was the first one in this area that was done in the dark gray. Um, it's actually uh, Benjamin Moore's wrought iron is the color of this house. It became a very popular um, color. Everybody came by this house and looked at it and said, what's that color? And um, it kind of made the range of what happened. But this was the house that started all of that, um, doing a, a dark gray house. You've got, a, you got um, the gray stone set, three-car garage, high-end appliances, high-end flooring, um, very nice house. It has uh, a front a side porch um, because most of the yard is out the side. Um, very unusual to have a third of an acre lot with a three-car garage in this area um, and a house is at um, under $1.4 million to have a, um, a to have the three-car garage. But very lovely home, excellent schools. It's Oakton High School, but middle elementary school all oakton all very high quality schools um, another thing a lot of people like about this little neighborhood it's it's a quiet street um, this is oakton it, the house faces oakton road but has a hibbert um, address um, very quiet very but you can walk to the town of oakton um, you've got sidewalks um, and curbs and gutter in this neighborhood. And the street ends at a cul-de-sac, so no, no traffic at all. Um, but let's go inside, take a look at it. I think it's something that you will like. So as you come in, you got a double door, real wood, solid wood door, double entry. You come in, you'll see the mahogany floors um, in here. Um, to the left is the library, um, so chair rail molding, nice crown molding, um, you know, good size room. On the right, you have the dining room, formal dining room, um, and has a big opening to the kitchen area. Um, stairs, the front staircase here, and then there's also a rear staircase. To the back, straight back, this is the formal living room. Um, and with a bay window going out to the back. Um, as we go down the rear hall, we go down and you have the formal powder room. And then it works its way to the three car garage in the mud room so they've got hooks along here coat closet and then open to the laundry room on this level so there's a lot of things i like you know this house for being 2010 looks like a brand new house with the two-tone cabinets so you got the brown center island um, you have the upper and lower cabinets all the way around um, in the off-white. Sub-Zero refrigerator, the French refrigerator with the freezer on the bottom, um, a under-the-counter microwave, and then you've got a wolf range over here, six burner. But I love this. L look at the, 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 the handles for the drawers and things. It really makes it nice when they, they put that little extra detail on there. Um, and so there's plenty of drawers, um, undermount, double bowl sink, and stainless steel dishwasher. Breakfast area over here, um, and a little bay window, so you can hang out in, off of the kitchen. And then <coughs> the family room was set on this side of the house on purpose. So it's open to the kitchen, but you have this volume space Stone fireplace, 
um, with a gas fireplace, gas logs, place for a TV above it. Um, this way you get three sides windows in the family room, which is awesome. And it walks out onto um, a covered porch. The deck is Ipe, so it's a Brazilian mahogany. Um, it, it, you have to use a diamond drill to drill these things. And when, you, when, they, got, when they do these things, they got to screw them in. Very hard wood. Bugs don't eat it, anything. It's awesome. Um, but by having this covered porch out here, it's very nice. Beadboard ceiling. And it's got place for two um, uh, ceiling fans out here if you want ceiling fans on your, on your porch as well. So really nice flow and floor plan and since your biggest part of the yard is out this direction it sets it up so that you use the yard efficiently all right so there's four bedrooms up here this bedroom nice bedroom it's got its own private bath um, one of the things granite countertops but they have the higher vanities um, and this one has a shower, little details in the shower, um, little marble detail, and, um, but with a ceramic floor. At the top of the, the um, front stairway, you come into this bedroom, and they did a very unique design to the buddy bath. So you've got a bedroom here, closets and then they have this hallway that comes through here a lot of people think this is pretty neat um, so it's got a big picture window and then this where is where the bathroom is tile floors this one has a tub but you can see that it's extra large with that little shelf in the back and then the hallway goes to the other bedroom so this way you still have two bedrooms this one has walk-in closet everything in there but it's very nice because you have that extra hallway that gives you a little bit more space and a little more privacy so every room is set up with ceiling fan in the center just a cover plate over it so you can add a ceiling fan or a light to every room. Um, the, the upstairs hallway is all that mahogany um, hardwood floors. It's got central vacuum system and in the master here you'll see you enter the double doors into the sitting room. You've got a tray ceiling with rope lighting behind cove molding. Um, nice bay window. Then you come through, you got the three-way fireplace, master bedroom on the bed wall. You also have the tray ceiling with the cove lighting in it, another bay window. Then it comes back, little foyer to the bathroom, his and her closets, and then into a very lovely master bath. You got your water closet. You got his space over by, of course, the water closet. And then big soaking tub in the window. And her space, much larger. Two cabinetries and drawers on the countertop. Linen closet. But this is one of my favorite parts in here is that you have this rain shower in here with handheld and four body sprayers, nice big um, shower. Awesome bathroom here. So you come down the back staircase to the lower level and the first thing that was done on this house was this room was set up to be, a, be able to be a media room. You can put a big screen TV on the wall or 
projection television in here. It's already wired for surround sound and all the wiring is in that corner and you get to it through this closet but so it can be behind the stairs. Um, and that way you could do it out of the wall if you wanted to. Then you have the big rec room area. Um, also in part of the design, now we're planning on taking up this carpet and replacing it. Um, but in this area, we had it set up that it could have been a bar area over here or just another air, little area over on this side where you could do your billiards room. Um, there is a full bathroom down here. You can look at it, it looks like it's brand new. And a full bedroom, even though we're below grade, um, we did have, did set it up with a full size window, walk-in closet, and access to the bath through here. Okay. So as you can see, very nice, lovely community, quiet back in here. You're only a block away from 123 and you know, it's just so different back here. Um, beautiful neighborhood. All the other houses are very nice. Um, they were built in um, the earlier 2000s. Um, but this house is a very unique house, very high quality. Actually, it's actually better quality than some of these other ones, um, even though they might be a bigger square footage wise. Um, but it's like anything. If you think it's something you like, um, I can work a deal out for you. We can do a rent with a, um, a rent purchase program or rent option to buy. Um, we've got a lot of different opportunities with this house. But if it's something you want to take a look at, give me a call. My name's Casey, Casey Marganow, Casey Marganow Fine Homes, 703 827 5777. That's 703 827 5777. And thank you for watching.